How goes everybody? My name is Sam Cham, and welcome to, well, uh, I think you're gonna guess what this game is sooner or later. But, Household Robots Rock and Roll were created by Master Robot Designer Dr. Light, and we're enjoying their peaceful days. Then one day, the industrial robots all over the world went on a rampage, and the world fell into chaos. I really like this uh, cinematic right here. I don't know, it's just kind of cool, with all the explosions and whatnot. Dr. Light quickly realized that the mad scientist, Dr. Wily, was behind the nefarious deed, but he didn't know what to do. Rock having his rock. A strong sense of justice volunteered to be converted into... Super fighting robot. Mega Man. A fighting robot! The Super Robot Mega Man was born! Love this music coming up right here. Oh, oh. I guess we, I guess we have to open his eyes first. His eyes are opened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mega Man shouted Dr. Wise plans three times and World Peace has been maintained thus far, but history repeats itself. Dr. Cossack, a mysterious scientist, has invented eight powerful robots. Ooh, Dr. Cossack, who's that? And send them after Mega Man! Mega Man starts for the battle again! This time equipped with the powerful new Mega Buster! Sweet! Now we can charge our shots. We don't we don't just have a little lemon cannon, but we have a big powerful cannon. And this is Mega Man 4. Got a little helmet there. Mega Man 5, they have Proto Man Scarf. But this is Mega Man 4. This is actually my second favorite Mega Man game. First one is Mega Man 2. But yep. Here's all eight robots. I always like to do Dust Man first. We're gonna do Dust Man. Maybe he's a trash man. A trash man is junk man, my lord. But yeah, I have a little story about this game. Well, it's not a story. It's just well, I, I don't even I don't even know what to call it. But essentially, all it was is that. Dude, no, god damn it! Make sure you don't jump over that because there's these dudes. Come down. Oh, seriously, dude, I need to get all of you. Well, essentially, the story behind this game is, a. Uh, back in 2014 was when I got this game. Uh, I played Mega Man 2, I got Mega Man 2 in April of 2014, and I was, uh, really wanting to play me this game, Mega Man 4, but I wanted to go in chronological order for whatever reason, so I decided to, okay, keyboard, you need to not, you need to not keyboard. If you ever seen me just run and then stop and shoot out my... Uh, Mega Blaster or whatever. <laughs> that is my keyboard being shit. Fucking keyboard. Oh, the lag is unreal. My lord. Holy shit. Dude, you're not gonna jump over here. Thank you, you're dead. I wanna go in chronological order. So, it was in August, I think. Maybe it was July. Oh, I got this game. But anyway, it might have been July. Yeah, it was. And... I decided uh, to play Mega Man 3, just to do it in chronological order. And then, oh, hi Eddie, what are you gonna give me? Need tank? Sweet! So, I got Mega Man 3, and then I was going to go on a camping trip, so I thought, you know what? As a, essentially a welcome home, welcome home gift, I'm gonna get Mega Man 4 for me when I come home. I'll get Mega Man, play Mega Man 3 now, and then get Mega Man 4 later. And that camping trip, oh my lord, that was like my best favorite camping trip ever. It really was, just so much fun stuff. It really was fun, in fact, uh, my troops going up to the same place uh, this weekend, uh, but, well, it's for a week, but they're leaving this weekend. Um, but I'm not going for a number of reasons. Make sure you do not get crushed by these things. Oh god, no. Uh, but yeah, that was such a fun camp, like my favorite camp out, favorite, like, best week of my life, seriously, it was that great. But when I came back, I got Mega Man 4, and a little fun fact, exactly one month to the day, 
I got Mega Man 5. I think I got this game like October, or no, not October, August 4th, 5th or 3rd, something like that. I say it was October, it was the 4th, one of those, one of those days. 3, 4, or 5, one of those days. But yeah, and then a month later I got Mega Man 5. 2014 was a great year. It's like, why is the garbage on fire? Holy shit. It's fucking trash. It's fucking trash. 2014 was a great year. It's like the year of Mega Man. So I played Mega Man 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 that year. 2015 was like the year of Mega Man or the Final Fantasy. So with this dude, right when the garbage like gets right to you, jump because his trash explodes in X. So if you jump right then, you won't get hit. So yeah, that's uh, something good to know. But no, no. Okay, whatever you do, do not, do not run into the. Uh, Bad guy, the, the the man, the robot. Oh shit! The, the, the that dude, because in this game, like just touching an enemy, I swear takes off like a third of your life. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, but yeah. Yeah, 2014. I remember, I remember coming home from school uh, that year, and uh, when I'd come home, I'd dick around for an hour and uh, just uh, make myself a diet coke float. Cause I. That's what I did, I made Diet Coke float. Oh, no, I also put, like, yeah, I make Diet Coke float, but I put chocolate syrup in it. Like a brown cow. And so, the person who's weak to Duskman is Skullman, because... I don't know. Uh, skulls are dusty. Dust kills the skull? Who knows? No one seems says this music's the best in Mega Man 4. I, I don't know. I mean, it's alright. As you know from uh, my top 10 music in Mega Man video, <laughs> horrible, horrible video. <laughs> I never uh, picked a song for Mega Man 4 because, uh, oh, I don't know. This game, like all games, like especially Mega Man, seem to have their own sort of instruments. Like in this game, everything sounds like has this noise to it. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Like even in this song, it, like there's like the part where it goes. I don't know. Like, it just seems like it has all that, and everything's a little real tingy, I don't know. You just, you just tell. And later on, that everything sounds Russian, I swear. But, uh, yeah. Man. I remember, when I was, uh, in, uh, I think I was a sophomore, in my inner, like, web development class, we always finish. No, dude, keyboard. What the fuck, keyboard? God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello, Eddie. How's it going? Thank you. I needed that. But in my web development class, we'd always just like if we finished our work early, me and this one kid that sat next to me would just play games. It was like, or like most specifically Mega Man. We would just see like which who could get through the level fastest or like actually do it without, or, or like, defeating an enemy, or uh, not an enemy, like, one of the robot masters, without their weakness. So we do that. One time I had, like, there's one, I was like, there's no way I can do this. I think it was, like, Woodman on hard mode, or something like that. I think we might have done Brightman in this game. I was like, Brightman's probably the hardest robot master in this game. Everyone says Feral Man. Uh, like, with Feral Man's weakness, he's pretty wimpy. But, yeah. So there's nothing really useful in that, or, like, there's no reason to go into that room beside, besides getting the energy tank. So, that's why I did. Oh, you can't shoot those from behind. Well, I must have forgot about that. Yeah. Ooh, time for the knife. Oh, man, energy tank, uh, I can normally get that, but this game is being, like, really laggy, and I don't want to, like, die. Like, you, you have no clue. You... I don't think you know how much lag there is on this. Like, it's not showing up or something. Oh, God, it's gonna be like Meg or Metroid. I'm gonna have to edit it. Oh, fuck. That's how you, like, when I did that one year anniversary video, that's how it made it sound seamless, because every now and then I had to, like, edit out, like, a little part of me not speaking, just to catch up with how much the frickin' recording lags. Oh, yeah, with these guys, you have to do a charge shot of them. You can't do a normal. Little pea shooter. Got a new charge shot. All these up here. Mm hmm. 
Skullman is a pretty difficult robot master. Did you say so? Not bad as Bright Man. But yes, very, very hard. Okay, so shoot that. Oh, right. I, I remember. Like, if you don't do anything and you just stand there, Skullman will just stand there too. It's the second you either shoot something or move, no, he comes at you, I guess. Jesus Christ. Are we already at half health? Holy shit! Oh my god! Jesus! We only got hit four times! Like, holy crap. No, no, I don't want to die. No, no, I'm not using energy tank. I'm not doing it! Not- Yes! Thank you. We are victorious! Oh! But yeah, that camp out was great. We did rock climbing, whitewater rafting, high ropes, zip lining. It was freaking great. It was awesome. It really was. You got the skull barrier. Yeah, his weapon's a shield. Because every Mega Man game needs a shield. And Mega Man 1, it's like, I know Fireman didn't really have a shield, but like when you shot out Fireman's weapon, it would develop you in fire, and then you have Woodman's leaf shield. Mega Man 3 didn't have one. Good for it. 4 has this one, 5 has a star crash, which, how is it? Why is I didn't know a name for a shield was a crash. I don't know. Is it? I don't even know. Why is it called the Star Crash? Then six is Plant Man. Seven has a Jump Jump Man. No, 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 no! Oh God, dude, dude! I don't know why, but this stage always reminds me. I used to have this. What was it? it was like it was like some Lazy Town CD thing that I always like to play, but it was fucked. Like I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, like, the characters wouldn't speak, it was, like, entire, entirely silent, and some of the stages, or, like, the levels were the exact same, like, I remember one, oh, hello, whale, hello, whale, I remember one stage, it was, like, just, it was, like, teaching you how to do math, because it was a kid's game, right, it was busy town, and it had a scale, but, like, two of the same levels were the same thing, and I think one game you can you could never beat. Yeah, I don't know why this reminds me. There's one game where you have to like decorate a boat. But, like it's a puzzle sort of. It tells you like what. Eddie, I didn't really need that one, but thank you. <laughs> didn't need that one. Most everyone says items in Mega Man Five are terrible. The items in this game are shit. Like the most useful item in this game is. I, I don't know. I want to say the dust thing, but it's like. It's useful because a lot of bosses are weak to it, but but it's like you know, it just shoots out something. It doesn't do anything. I don't know. The morph model time was pretty good. So I'll just blue in this level. Just blue. That's all I think of this level. I think of blue. I'm blue. Da ba dee ba ba da. Sometimes you want to get the water to go up high just so you can. Uh, a jump higher, so kill it. Kill it with fire. Okay, and then we gonna just go ahead and jump over here. No, no, don't fall in the hole. I'm just kidding. So I actually do want to come down here uh, because you get to. No, 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 like, instead of, it's like, yeah, you got it, be proud, it's like, yeah, you, you got it, uh, it just sounds so wimpy, it's like, eh, it sounds like a middle school band played that music, <laughs> hey, one up, sweet, man, got one up. I got your picture, you need to see, stop saying that, man, this, this is not Twilight Princess, this is not Twilight Princess, in fact, at, at the point of this recording, I haven't even, Gone through. No, no, don't fall in again. I haven't even finished Ganon's castle. Another one of. Holy hell, what is this Mega Man 5 like shit? God damn. I actually. The reason why I'm playing this game is because I'm into like a Mega Man mood. It seems that happens every year. Like last year. I'm Mega Man. Oh, fuck! No! No! God damn it. God damn it. Why? Why, 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 why? Normally, normally I have to do this segment two times, but no, three times a day, because... Why not? Yeah, I've been in a Mega Man mood, and as you know, last year when I made the top 
my favorite music in Mega Man, the Robo Master stage themes. That, that was last year's time when I was in Mega Man. Uh, this year I played, played, uh, I played 10, then I played 9, and then 5 and a 3 the other day, so now I'm playing 4. For some reason I don't have like a like need to play 2, especially if I'm 1, I don't really care about 1. Last year I played all the ones I had, I've never played uh, 6, 7, or 8. Man, dude, freaking stingrays. These things, I think you can shoot them, like, sometimes it seems like you can shoot them and they blow up, and other times it just seems like you have to get close to them, I don't know. Maybe you shoot them to activate them, or something, and then walk close to them for them to detonate. Get like that, I didn't shoot that one. It's weird. Okay, so this, get in here. And Dive Man is a bitch, because his weakness is a shield. So, and it's not like you can throw the shield. You'll see. It's it's bad. Get up there and then... Nope, skull. Uh, wire, I'll, I'll show you what the wire does later. Okay, damn it. Damn it. Ugh, fuck, you have to get like right next to this dude. Yeah, like that. That's how... <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna get a game over, but if I do... I'm not gonna be that happy. Okay, Jesus, and we use the shield. Oh God, this is this is terrific. This is this is tremendous. This is absolutely beautiful. This is beautiful. Pretty beautiful. Oh God, use the use the boot to chase. Now use the. You waste all your shield thing on these missiles, and <laughs> this missile is such a wimpy thing. Oh my God. No. Okay. Well, we have to use the Mega Buster now. And one thing, uh, if you saw there, I entered the Mega Buster already charged. And that's a thing you can do. If you're charging your weapon and switch to, uh, one of your special weapons, if you go, when you are going back to your Mega Buster, continue holding the charge button, and then select your Mega Buster again, it will keep that charge. That's a thing you can do, if that makes any sense. Change to a different weapon when you are originally charged up. And then you go back to the make sure you're holding the charge. But that's gonna do it for us today, my homebrews. And the next episode, we're gonna do Drill Man. So, till then, my homebrews, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful life. And goodbye.